Okay, we're gonna go on after the song. But the microphone, seriously, you gotta be this close to it, you'll sound like you're. Okay. Uh, it won't sound right. <laughs> Just be. I bet Brett Mike was like, he was a rock star I met when I was in high school. He was so sweet. He was so damn nice. We met him once or twice, and he's, he's been pretty nice, so he's been pretty consistent, so that's good to hear. You don't always, I mean, anybody could be nice for 30 seconds at the autograph table, but, you know, he seems like he's been pretty consistent for us being nice, and one guy that hasn't been is Mark from Bullet Boys. <laughs> he was kind of jerky. He, he you kinda, remember that stuff, you know? Yeah. You remember that. And he, he wanted, we played with him at the Ugly Monkey uh, a few years ago, and uh, he found out we had a recording studio, and he wanted to get in there. And, oh, okay, cool. It's $50 an hour. And, oh, I, I was just kind of hoping he'd comp me. Why? Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he should be paid more than like, you know, <laughs> Our landlords don't comp us while right, we should be comping. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, 40, 40 seconds. Nothing but a good time on the Giant 96.5. That was Poison, who will be at Verizon this Saturday. And with them will be Rock Hollywood, who's live in the studios this evening with us at WSVX. Welcome Darren and David Shore from Rock Hollywood. Thank you, Penny. Thanks for having thanks, us. Thanks for coming in. I've seen you guys for, I don't even know, maybe 25, 30 years. So. Well, we're only 25, so it couldn't be that long, right? <laughs> Surely, <laughs> no. <laughs> so tell me, what is going on Saturday? Kind of a little rock and roll soiree away that we uh, we whipped up at the last minute. Uh -huh. uh, now actually, you know, we're playing with uh, Motley Crue and Poison and New York Dolls at, at Verizon Wireless Music Center, formerly Deer Creek. And um, see, now you are showing your age when you call it Deer Creek. No, I just I just heard that. Somebody, just heard it. One of my older friends told me that. You're <laughs> checking out the history of Verizon. Yeah, yeah, that we little were fact. Doing our research, <laughs> but uh, uh, we go on at around 6 or 6.15 when the gates open mm -hmm. and we're on the, the side stage once you come in there. So that is pretty exciting. Now you guys have opened for all different kinds of national acts. Yeah, we've kind of been blessed for the last few years. We've gotten to play with a lot of the people that we grew up watching on TV and mm -hmm. gotten to know some of the guys personally and all and played with them several times, the, you know, Cinderella and, and uh, Naked Beggars. Uh, who else? Warren, Skid Row, L.A. Guns, uh, the Phil Lewis, Steve yeah. Riley version, um, Blackstone Cherry, Leonard Skinner, um, Three Doors Down, Dawkin, Rad. <laughs> now you guys can't see them because this is radio, but Darren and David are twins. Both got real long hair. David's got purple on his hair. <laughs> Which, you know, so, my, my favorite color is purple, but... Yeah. It, well, so you get to look at your brother. Yeah. Because you, cause you like see a, it on yourself. Like, well, it's like looking in a mirror. Looking in a mirror, <laughs> <laughs> like in a mirror yeah. In, in the dog, Rockstar. Rockstar's with us hanging out someplace. With a K. She's Be down down here. Yeah, she's <laughs> behaving. She's behaving. I normally have my dog in here, but not tonight, so that's pretty cool. I think she might be the first guest dog we've had at the radio cool. station. This is her first radio interview, too. Oh, well, awesome. Yeah. At least on my show, it's the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be at Verizon July the 2nd on Saturday. Now, I want to talk about you guys. Um, Darren, how long have you been playing? Do you play bass, guitar? Tell me. I do today. <laughs> you do today. What do you normally play? Last minute thing. Um, I usually play drums and then do backup vocals. I play guitar. And you play guitar. Now, have you? how long have you been playing the drums and guitar? We have to say. <laughs> yes, you do. I want to do Now we're really going to tell her age. Huh? Now we're really going to tell her Since age. we're 11. You know, Since you were 11? We in, uh, you know, one of the well, basically our first band was uh, in the early 80s with our high school band uh, called Twin Star. So we've been playing since the early 80s in bands for quite a while. What made you start playing? Kiss. Kiss? Kiss. Yeah, Kiss and 
actually Stevie Wonder. Uh, I started playing trumpet, and I heard it on the radio, and I wanted to, I want to play that instrument, which I think what I was hearing was trombone, but I said, I want to play trumpet. And so I started playing trumpet, and, and uh, then he started playing drums in the junior high band. And uh, actually, our first instrument was uh, the, what was it? Lutophone. Lutophone. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we got kicked out of class too. We had to go outside to in the hallway to uh, have someone show us how to do it better. But you really got kicked out of class? Yeah, yeah. Okay. not really kicked out. They just put us out in the hall and have someone guide us a little bit better on the Lutophone. But why were you that like up to par or something when you I first started? I guess not. Class? I guess well, we were playing sports back then, so our mind was kind of elsewhere. But uh, yeah, but then where'd you, know, you go to school at? Beach Grove. Beach Grove. Mm -hmm. All right, that's pretty close. Yeah. I remember when I used to think when I was at school in Carmel, you guys lived far away. Sort of yeah, well, back, as an adult, probably back then it was. You know, yeah, when you first start terrible. driving and you know, get nor the north side, the south side is a long distance away, but now it's just nothing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything now. But, yeah, we've, we've been yeah. playing since then. We've been playing in and out of bands since then and played all over the country. And so it's, it's been a good thing. Now, were your parents supportive? Yeah, very yeah, supportive. Yeah, they yeah. just started. I mean, they bought us our first instruments. So. We wouldn't be where we are without them today. And unfortunately, we um, we don't have them with us anymore. And our mom passed away about three years ago. But you know, we have to give a lot of credit to them because they got us started playing music. They kind of wanted to give us an activity, to keep us out of trouble. And I don't think they expected us to keep doing it as long as we have. But. They're kind of disappointed that we quit playing sports and went into music, but I think they're happy that we at least <laughs> stuck with it and, and made something of it. And uh, but, you know, they bought us our first instruments even back before. You know, when we were like four or five years old, we got pictures with us with like a, a Mickey Mouse drum set. So <laughs> and we kind of tore that thing up pretty quick. But uh, so we kind of did the rock star thing early on and got that out of our system, and now we're a little bit more about things. <laughs> so, KISS was one of your biggest influences. Yeah, the, the yeah we started all with KISS. And actually, Jay Halen and Aerosmith. Yeah. Yeah, KISS was our first concert, and uh, we, you know, the, our current bass player, he was at the same concert we were at. Who was your current bass player? Uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Kahn. Dwayne Kahn, Kahn and uh, Tony DeCoff is our singer. All right. But it's funny because, you know, 20, 30 years later, now we're all in the same band. We realized we were at the same concert. It's like, well, that was our first concert. I, I'm not sure if it was his or not, but it's kind of neat that we were in the same place, you know, at the very beginning, and now here we are. It's like we were talking small world. You can't burn any bridges. No, that's right. <laughs> you need Word to be nice. All and you musicians out there, don't burn bridges. Yeah, I always tell the kids when they come on the radio station, and I'm like, you got to be positive. You, you probably you remember know, the old nice Sherwood things. Club, right? Oh, I know. Club on well, Twitter. I remember the name. Uh, yeah, they had a lot of concerts there. We were actually there with the bass player. He was at that same show at uh, Metallica, Armored Saint, and Wasp in 1985. You know, wow. kind of before uh, Metallica became really big. But, so that's just down the street from where we live now. So, but uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do wrong? David's uh, moving David's yeah, microphone. I'm doing roadie work. But uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. You know, looking back, and you know, we played the whiskey a couple times out in L.A., and it's mm -hmm. kind of neat looking back to see where you've come from and, and oh, see yeah. where you've gone to. I have to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but.